Yo, what's good, YouTube? This is Jay from TNJ. And make sure you hit that like button. We are now headed back into the season after that recruiting episode. And remember, we are 2-0 to start this season, too. And last game, I mean, Billy Humphreys, he had a pretty good game. We didn't have a great offensive game, but defense definitely shined with Terrence Miller leading the way. He had three sacks, five tackles, five tackles for loss, and he definitely gets the boost in awareness along with the other freshman, Andre Armstead. So I do kind of want to switch this up a little bit probably. I don't know what I'm going to do, but uh, maybe some other rating besides awareness will go up. I'm not sure, but I am so excited for the future of these linebackers, these young linebackers. We have the true sophomore, Isaac Tagia. And then we have Andre Armstead, and then we have Terrence Miller up front. I hope that they can keep this going versus Missouri, who is 0-2 on the season. They lost to UTSA and Western Michigan, both on the road. So this is an SEC school. They're still going to be tough. They're still rated in the 90s. So this is going to be a tough matchup. So here we go. We are underway here on the road as we start out this game on defense. And here is Tyler Batty, the sophomore running back getting the first carry of the game for nine yards. So now lined up wide at receiver. Here is Batty running in motion, but Jacinto gets the pass that time, and he's picking up 18 yards as that's enough for a first down. So here is Scott giving it off to Batty. Batty has an open hole once again up the middle, and he's picking up a gain of 16 as, wow, this was not what I was envisioning after that huge game from our defensive line. So now on a first and 10, throwing out to the tight end, and that's gonna be a broken tackle. He's gonna get in for the touchdown. I'm not even gonna try to say that last name. Albert gets in for the touchdown, and that seemed too easy as they just ran down our throats through a couple of passes and pick up the touchdown. So now we're down 7-0 on the first drive. Here's Trey Walker getting open across the middle for a gain of 12. As you remember, he had a spectacular last three games of the season in season one as here he is getting the pass once again and getting upfield for 35 yards remember Ty Cottrell got hurt last year as a senior and he definitely stepped up in his place and here he is continuing once again trying to capitalize off of that huge season so here's Tyler Nevins getting a five-yard carry up the middle as he makes it a third and three, here's Montel Aaron running a slant route to Matt Pollard, the true freshman. He picks up a gain of 18, and that's enough for a first down. So now set up inside the five-yard line. Here's Tyler Nevins getting in for the one-yard touchdown run, and we tie this game up at seven. And here is Missouri back out onto the field. So here is Scott from the shotgun this time. You know he likes to scramble a little bit, but this time he's not getting away from Isaac Tagia, who wraps him up. And that's the first sack of the game for this defense. So second and 11, here is Scott from the shotgun once again. Going to scramble up the middle, and he's going to pick up a gain of 10. Actually, 11, that is, and he picks up enough for a first down, so he moves the chains. So now this next play, we do have a spy on him, but Batty does run the ball up the middle. He breaks the tackle, and the sophomore gets to the outside. He uses that acceleration and gets 23 yards as he fumbles out of bounds, but that's enough for a first down inside of almost field goal range. So now here's Batty lined up at receiver, breaking a tackle and getting upfield for a gain of 18. As this is one of the things that, you know, we weren't sure about going into this season. We have Trey Webb, who has a veteran in this defensive back system, but Bruh. a lot of young guys in our secondary. But meanwhile, Tyler Batty using a stiff arm, getting off of a tackle and getting into the end zone. Look at he just fights off Isaac Tagia on that one and gets in. So now, Two drives, two touchdowns for Missouri. So here we are back out onto the field. Here's Montel Aaron throwing the ball to the left side. That's Billy Humphreys, the junior tight end. And he picks up a gain of 12. So now second and 10. Here's Aaron throwing across the middle. That's Matt Pollard taking a big hit, but picking up nine yards on that one. So now at the 45, third and one, throwing the ball across the middle. That's Bailey Gaither now a senior, picking up seven yards as we move the ball past the 50. So now second and four, here's Montel Aaron rolling out to the right side, a wide open man, that's Bailey Gaither, but Montel Aaron can't find him, and that would have probably been a big gain. So now third and four, 
Here is Aaron throwing to the right side. That's actually Carl Wolf, our top recruit last year who was a walk-on, ends up being our number one recruit, and he picks up the first down. He's actually probably like fourth on the depth chart, I'd say, but I can see in the future he definitely is going to get in quite a bit. He's probably going to end up being the new Bailey Gaither. I'm not really sure. Matt Pollard is probably going to be lined up at number one receiver next year. I, I'm not really sure. Don't want to look too far into the future. So here on a third and four here inside the 15-yard line, throwing the ball across the middle, and that one is way off as Billy Humphreys was the intended target, and we have to settle for the field goal. So now 14-10 here here. Scott back out onto the field. Can he make it three drives, three touchdowns, and that's a good start getting it out to Jacinto, and he's picking up a gain of 11. So now here is Scott from the shotgun scrambling out to the right side. He's picking up about seven yards on that one as he breaks the tackle and it takes two to get him down as now it's a second and two. Here is Scott throwing out to the right side. There's Jacinto open on the sideline once again, 21 yards as they are torching our defense so far in this first half. Here is Batty on the run this time, breaking a couple of tackles and look at him, he's a little guy but he's showing some elusiveness, getting nine yards on that one. So now third and one, here's a handoff up the middle. Here's Batty, almost breaks through that and gets tripped up by Trey Jefferson before getting inside the five. So first and goal here is Scott scrambling out to the right side, cutting back inside, and that's three, three drives, three touchdowns here for Missouri as they get in for another touchdown as our defense has to come up with a stop. So now. On the next drive, first and 10. Here is Trey Walker, who's having a pretty big first half. He spins away from two defenders, but gets caught up by that block that time. And wow, he could have actually broke that one. He probably didn't expect that. Both defenders would miss him on that. But the drive does continue here on the first and 10. Here is Montel Aaron scrambling out to the right side. That's a gain of 16. Doesn't have the top end speed, but that time he gets 16. So now. Second and 10, read option keeper, and he's gonna get tackled behind the line for a loss of one, making it a third and 11. Here is Monto Aaron throwing out to the right side. That's Bailey Gaither open and getting 17 yards and bringing it inside the 30 for a first down. So now five minutes left here in the second quarter. Handoff to Zamora Ziegler, the senior turned cornerback, current cornerback turned running back. He picks up 13 yards on that one as that's enough for a first down. So a couple of plays later here, inside the 10, third and three, throw out to Ziegler again. He picks up three, and that's enough for a first down. So now inside the five-yard line, on a second and goal, here's Montel Aaron throwing out to Tyler Nevins, the running back, and he picks up three yards. But look at this, I mean, he has a touchdown pretty much, Bruh. but gets pushed out by his own man, as now we get it down to a third and goal, so here. Read option, here is Montel Aaron gonna keep this one. He's gonna get in for the touchdown, making it a 17 to 21 game as we now have to come up with a stop so that we can probably go into halftime with this lead, but we have not shown any signs of stopping this offense as here is Scott back out onto the field. Here is Batty getting the hand up to the right side, breaks a tackle that time, breaks another oh, tackle, throws God. another stiff arm, and he is getting the ball inside the 35-yard line for a 45-yard gain. Ethan Aguayo was the first guy to miss it. Then Jonathan Leonard misses a tackle. Then two other defenders come in and could not make the tackle. This guy is just torching us so far in the first half. So here is Batty on a, a option pitch, and he picks this one up. And he's picking up another 20-yard gain. As wow, they are just torching us so far on the ground so here on the first and ten here is batty getting the handoff up the middle cuts back to the left and he picks up the touchdown how does he even maneuver like that and wow just breaking all kinds of tackles and we just see the weakness on this defense it's definitely tackling as we allow another touchdown so here on the next drive here is carl wolf getting open down the sideline and picking up a big gain to start out this next drive, a gain of 37. I like Carl Wolf. As you know, he does have, you know, a little bit of wiggle to him. I, I didn't expect him to be as good as a good of a route runner as he is right out of the gate, but he obviously was our top recruit, and I'm looking for him to have a bright future. So now inside of one minute, there is Matt Pollard getting the catch. 
on a second and seven. Throwing the ball across the middle. That's Trey Walker again for another catch in the first half as he's been really busy up to 74 yards receiving already. So now here is Tyler Nevins getting the hand up, up the middle, picking up about a gain of three as this clock moves inside of 30 seconds. So now 14 seconds left inside the five-yard line at the four. Snap to Aaron, throwing out to the right side on a third down pass, and that's Billy Humphreys picking up five yards. And the touchdown as Montel Aaron starts out this game right, 19 for 24 and a touchdown, as that is going to be it as we go into halftime, down 28-24. So here is Montel Aaron. We haven't really gotten the running game going too much, but it's been actually pretty efficient as here is Tyler Nevins picking up about a gain of six on the first carry of the first second half. And Montel Aaron back here in the shotgun on a third and four. Here is Aaron throwing out to the right side. That's finding Tyler Nevins, and he's picking up a gain of 11 as that's been kind of the you know story of this game, just picking up first downs on third down conversions as here on a first down taking a sack. So now we got it down to a second and 22. Here's Montel Aaron facing a little bit of a stunt blitz up the middle, but there is Matt Pollard hanging on to it for a gain of 14, so we get a bunch of that yardage back. So now in a third and eight, thrown out to the right side here is Trey Walker holding on to that one through the hit as he's been busy as another catch and another first down on a third down conversion. So now second and nine, here is Montel Aaron rolling out to the left side. Can't get enough on it, trying to get it to Bailey Gaither who had a step on his cornerback and another third and nine. So here, snap from the shotgun. Here's Montel Aaron scrambling out to the right side, gonna stop and throw across the middle. He's gonna find Matt Pollard for another third down conversion. And wow, this has been a third down game as Missouri is just, they, they have pretty good defense. I mean, it's a SEC defense but we're doing a pretty good job of converting on third. So now here's Tyler Nevins on the carry, picking up eight yards as we now get it to a second and two. Counter play to the left side, and there is Ziggler putting a move on the cornerback, and he's getting in for the touchdown as he makes it a 31 to 28 lead, but take another look at this juke move. That cornerback just looks silly. Not only did he, he get juke, but trips up to his own teammate and then trips over his teammate. I oh mean, just an God. incredible juke move from the senior running back as he makes it a three point game. So now here is Scott here from the shotgun, scrambling out to the right side. He's gonna pick up a lot on this one, gain of 13. As wow, we have not been able to stop Scott. So we put on the spy on this play, but look, they're running the ball this time and here's Batty, but this time, that's Isaac Tagia on the tackle behind the line as we make it a second and 11. Another draw play to Batty. He's picking up a gain of seven as now we get him to a crucial third and four. Can we come up with a stop? So now here is Scott throwing over the middle this time, finding Jacinto, but he gets tripped up over the middle. Too much traffic inside. That's a tackle by James Will Smith, and we force the first punt of the entire game. So now here back out on the next drive, here's the more Ziggler on the screen pass. He can't pick up anything. That's a loss of four yards. So second and 14, here's Aaron rolling out to the right side, throwing out to Bailey Gaither, but he comes back to the ball. He loses ground as man, that's actually some valuable yardage loss on that. So now third and eight, throwing out to the right side. That's tipped by Demarcus AC, who forces a punt from San Jose State. So now back-to-back -back punts for both teams is here. Scott on the next drive this time, taking a sack by Ethan Aguayo. As he flies in for the sack, he avoids the, the block from Batty and picks up that six-yard loss in a sack. So now on a second down handoff, here's Batty, but he can't get anything as now it's a crucial third and 17 here is Scott from the shotgun throwing the ball deep he's got a man and that's Bruh. actually knocks down the sideline how does this happen it's a cover six I don't know how Cameron Smith allows the receiver to get behind him but he does and that is actually a big first down conversion so now in a first and ten throwing the screen pass out to Batty he's got a lot of blocking and he's gonna be gone on this one as wow he just took off the perfect play call for that defense, and wow, just like that, they get into the end zone for the touchdown. 
So here is Tyler Nevins on the next drive, down four points, picking up five yards on that first carry as the third quarter does wind down here under a minute. So here's Montel Aaron throwing across the middle. That's actually Carl Wolf for the 15-yard reception on that one. And that's enough for a first down. So now here is Montel Aaron from the shotgun, dumping it off to the running back, Ziegler. He's picking up a gain of 11, but gets tackled by a gang of Missouri defenders. So now 20 seconds left in this 30, this third quarter. Here is Mato Aaron throwing out to the right side. That's Trey Walker again. He's been busy. He goes over 100 yards with that catch as now we are inside of field goal range to start this fourth quarter. Here is Amore Ziegler starting it off with a six yard carry and we give it back to him on a back to back carry here on a second and four. He gets stopped behind the line, a loss of three and that makes it a third and seven. So here's Montel Aaron from the shotgun, scrambling out to the right side this time, gonna get rid of it, and that's Billy Humphreys on the 11 yard reception. He keeps a toe in bounds, as that's now a first down inside the 20. So now here is Carl Wolf getting a slant route on the next play, 11 yards inside the five yard line. So now second and goal, Montel Aaron scrambling out to the right side, gonna get rid of it to Ziegler. He's gonna take a huge hit as he gets cleaned up on that one, and he holds on to it, gets inside about the one yard line. So now on a third and goal, here's a handoff to Tyler Nevins. He gets in, and that's gonna make it another lead change in this fourth quarter, as it's now 38 to 35. So here is Scott back on the next drive, getting it to Floyd, and Floyd is picking up 14 yards on that reception. So five minutes left in this fourth quarter here on the first and 10. Here is Scott scrambling out to the right side, cuts back in. He's picking up a gain of eight. As we thought we had him contained on that, we actually had a couple of spies that time, and he still finds his way upfield. So now here on a second and two, here's Bruh. Batty breaking a tackle and somehow getting upfield for seven yards. So wow, Batty is just doing what he wants in this game. So now second and 10. Draw play too baddie, but this time he's not going anywhere as we make it a third and eight. So another big third down here, gotcha, sending bitch. a blitz in this time. Trey Webb gets in for the sack. So we force the punt and look at Trey Webb, avoids the left tackle, the right tackle on that one and gets in untouched for the sack. And now we have under three minutes left to milk this clock. So now on a second and eight, throwing the ball across the middle. Here is Trey Walker getting open across the middle, and that's a gain of 14 and enough for a first down. So now on a first and 10 here, going to hand the ball off to Ziegler to the left side, has the blocking, but he's going to cough this one up, and Missouri falls on it. Wow, we were just trying to run this clock, and somehow the linebacker comes in unblocked. So we actually had an opportunity to fall on the ball that time. But look at this, two blockers in the vicinity. Bruh. And for some reason, he goes in untouched. Wow. So now Missouri gets the ball back after the fumble here. Down three points. Here is Scott scrambling out to the right side. We have a spy on him, but he still gets out of the pocket and picks up four yards on that one. So now two minutes left here in the fourth quarter. Here is Scott. Once again, we have a spy on him. He's getting to the outside, but he's going to take the sack. And that's Ethan Aguayo on the spy. So now third and six, a crucial third down. Another one here running the screen pass out to the left side. This time, Batty's getting it, but he's getting tackled by Isaac Tagia. And they had to kick the long field goal, but they lined up for it with a SEC kicker. You know they're going to hit that field goal as he had plenty of leg and ties this game up at 38. So under a minute left. Here on the first play of the next drive, throw the ball across the middle, and that's picked off by Petri. Wow. So on the first play of the next drive, Trey Walker has a step, but that ball was just underthrown, not thrown to the right spot, and they capitalized for the interception. So now 38-38 inside the 35-yard line, dumping the ball over to the right side, and he's going to find this tight end as Scott moves the ball inside the 25, and that's more than enough room for their kicker as he hit the long field goal before. So now facing a second and 11. Here's Scott from the shotgun. Gonna have nobody to throw it to, but we got the spies on him. He's gonna use his stiff arm and get upfield for a gain of seven as we're now down to 27 seconds left 
in this fourth quarter as here is Batty getting the hand up on the right side on a third and three and he picks up the first down. We could have had him there and had a chance to be down three points with the fourth quarter drive, but instead they end up getting in for the touchdown. We kind of let them get in because the time we don't, we don't have much at all. So now can we pull this off on this final drive here? 16 seconds left, starting out this drive, running Ziggler in motion on a first and 10. Snap to Aaron, throwing across the middle. That's Trey Walker. He comes up with the catch as we actually hurry this one back to the line. So now here is Montel Aaron, 12 seconds left. One timeout, having all the throw. We run the same exact play, but at this time it's not open and Ziggler gets to the sideline for five yards. So now second and five, six seconds left. Maybe enough for two plays, throwing the ball across the middle. That's Billy Humphreys. He gets the first down catch. 21 yards as it comes down to this one last play at the 25 so here's Montel Aaron from the shotgun running the stick and nod throws it over the middle and he's gonna find Billy Humphreys but he takes a huge hit and that's not enough for the touchdown wow look at that throw as it was actually a pretty good throw but I'm not sure he would have had the touchdown anyway they had coverage over the top and then the cornerback came off of his man and made the big hit. And wow, what a way to lose this game. But wow. We were really close. We were really, really close. It was an SEC school on the road. But man, that fumble at the end of the game by Ziggler definitely changed the course of this game in those final two minutes as we had it we had it we were running the ball well we were moving the ball well and it forced us to throw on the next drive and just a bad throw by Montel Aaron and an interception by Missouri wow we could have started off the season 3-0 but tough loss we got to move on Trey Walker went over 100 yards in this one eight receptions 147 he had a pretty good game uh Andre Armstead actually led our team in tackles and we did have six sack five sacks but they were kind of garbage. I mean, they weren't like legitimate sacks. Trey Webb had a legitimate sack. Ethan Aguayo had a legitimate sack. But the other ones were just basically spy sacks and, you know, not really anything, you know, that to really be proud of. We gave up too many yards on the ground for sure. And I don't really know what we need to do there because I'm going to try Cameron Alexander, putting him in at defensive end more over uh, Trey Jefferson. And it just seemed like, you know, we just couldn't stop them at all and one guy that was actually really really quiet was Terrence Miller I'm not sure where he was that game as he was nowhere on the box score and nowhere to be found on defense so we definitely have to clean that up because Batty ran for 182 and it doesn't get any better as we're going up against Miami who is actually ranked in the top five next week so it doesn't get any easier but we're gonna have to go on the road once again so hit subscribe, hit that like button. Tough loss, but man, we got to build up on this. Our defense definitely has to step up. So stay tuned. Let's get it. Let's go.